hi and welcome back to another video in today's video we are basically going to be looking at hollow blocks versus solid blocks now blocks in general plays different roles when it comes to construction you can use blocks in making of walls you can have blocks as insulation agent as against maybe heat as against sound as also against maybe code and you can even have blocks as um, fire resistance agent and then also you can have them in terms of design or aesthetics you know to uh, make your project or house beautiful aside from that there are certain properties or advantages as well as disadvantages of hollow blocks as against that of solid blocks so we'll look at a few of them now when you take hollow blocks for instance there are different kind of hollow blocks in terms of the design of it now their, their very main or major kinds are the full hollow or the partial hollow so this is an example of a partial hollow block because of the way the holes are within it a full hollow will have like a very big hole here another big hole here but or maybe different it could be multiple holes but at the end of the day when you compare full hollow to a partial hollow the holes within full hollow is going to be more than that of the partial hollow aside from that um, let's look at some of the advantages of the hollow blocks. I have a few here that I'll list. The very first one says that ensure effective soundproof. And this is because of the design of it. When you take sound, for instance, sound hitting or bouncing on this particular surface of this block, because of the layers within it, it will take a longer time for it to get to this particular layer as against just like a solid block, which it is just solid throughout. So you have the holes within this wood because it's filled maybe usually with air. Once the sound hits this particular surface, it would reduce it a bit before it hits this surface, before it eventually hits the surface. So then it is able to reduce the level of sound that will travel through it as against that of a solid block. Aside from that also, it is able to regulate or control room temperature. And also this is because of the way it is designed, because of the holes. Now the holes are usually filled with air so when you have, let's say, the sun heating or hitting this particular surface, it will take a longer time for it to go through to this particular point before it eventually comes in here. As against the solid one, once it's hitting here, it is just going throughout, um, through to the other point. So this is able to reduce the amount of um, sun, not just sun, but other um, um, things as well. But for this particular purpose, we are just looking at sun. So in terms of that, it's able to reduce um, room temperature and then also it is um, requires or uses less mortar especially when you're working with it because of the way it is if it was a solid block you would have had to fill all this place with mortar but because it is a hollow block you don't have to fill the entire point with mortar and you reducing the amount of mortar you're using is basically you reducing cost so then it boils down to low in cost as against that of a solid block and then finally you have it lightweight so the weight of this is lesser than this henceforth making it um, recommended for certain type of job especially for story buildings so if you are doing story buildings you're having multiple floors it is best to have um, a hollow block used for the different floors as against that of solid block because this is light in weight and when you are building story building you are, as part of the things you are concerned about is weight so then you don't want a situation whereby you are burdening it with so much weight by using solid block so then it makes hollow block you know the best option to go in for as against that of solid block so these are a few advantages that you have with the hollow blocks it's able to control room temperature it is light in weight it is also um, requires less mortar making you reduce cost and then finally it is able to at least reduce some level of sound let's go ahead to move on to the disadvantages or some few disadvantages of it so the first one will be that it can easily be destroyed and it is very true so if i have a hammer right now i'm trying to destroy this and this i will easily be able to destroy this as against that of the solid block so then in terms of it being able to destroy easily yes the hollow blocks will go down easily as against the solid block and then also once you have, you destroy it or once maybe you're working with it and it falls down the rest and it breaks it is very difficult to like put it together repair it as against that of the solid block where you can just maybe cut and chip in but this one you might have to even 
change the entire block eventually or that particular point you intend to repair so making it um, not so good for repair works and then also it is low in weight so just as we said um with the first one it's being lightweight for the advantage when you come to the disadvantage it has its own downside as well uh, making it not so much suitable for a certain type of work because of its low in weight it is usually not best for load bearing um sections of your project where you have five um sorry you have solid block using it to maybe bear certain kind of load the hollow blocks usually will not be best to do that i have an airplane a helicopter passing by the way that's just by the way so aside from that also it is um yes so just as i was saying it's being low in weight will not make it a good load bearing agent so that will be the final disadvantage of the hollow block so the disadvantages are it can easily be destroyed um, it's difficult to repair it's low in weight and then also it is um, not able to bear a lot of load as against that of the solid block so that would be just about it for the hollow blocks now let's move on to the or some advantages of the solid block and then also look at some disadvantages so the very first one of the advantages would be because of its strong um, nature or solid nature it is able to withstand certain harsh weather conditions yes like storms rains and, and so on yes because of how it is and then also it is usually good for foundation works this is because of how it is made its weight its strength um, it's able to bear a lot of load which is another property or advantage of it as against that of the hollow one so it's um, good for foundation work and it has good load bearing capacity and then it cannot easily be um, broken as against that of the hollow one if i'm going to be hammering this and this like i said earlier this will go down quickly than this so it's um you know good um for a certain type of work maybe foundation as part of it among others now when you move on to the disadvantages the cost of this ideally should be a little bit more than this but usually doesn't turn out to be the case yes i don't know why anyway so this one has um low in cost yes in terms of um using let's say mortar as well as um, having people working with it because of its weight usually will cost you more you have to fill all the surface with mortar whereas this you just fill the uh, sections with the solid part with mortar and aside from that also inability to regulate room temperature yes because this is solid throughout when you have the sun hitting this side it is basically just traveling through it all the way through to this point whereas with this where you have the sun hitting this because of the holes which usually holds in air it reduces that temperature before it goes to the next layer before the final layer and then also not highly recommended for story building especially top floors yes because of its weight you know as part of your design for story building one of the things that you are considerate of has to do with the weight of um, the structures or the things that you are having as part of the building to be able to withstand certain um, weight so you wouldn't want to be bedding in the structure with a lot of weight especially by using solid blocks so then you might be going in for hollow blocks for that and then finally it retains a lot of water and this makes it more susceptible to damp as against that of hollow blocks that doesn't also mean that you should be using hollow blocks for a foundation yes because of how it is designed once you have let's say moisture or water going through it basically be able to go through it all the way through to the other point whereas for the hollow blocks it may not really um, behave in that particular order so these are some few advantages and disadvantages of both i also like to hear from you some of the advantages you have personally observed or you know of um, i would like to hear from you to share that in the comment section so we all get to learn um, more so that will be just about it um, you should know the kind of works that you should be using your hollow blocks for as well as the solid blocks for i will not be in the best position to tell you but we usually hollow blocks are best for um you know story buildings especially motive uh, floors or top floors as against that of solid blocks so that'll be just about it for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one